it's Robin. Today I cooked red cooked pork pot pies. In Chinese they're called hung xiao ru. They're delicious. I'll show you how to make them. For the pie crust, take flour, salt, and sugar and sift that together. I'm using a little strainer here because my sis sifter <laughs> is rusted out. <laughs> And once you get it sifted, then you add some green onions. I thinly slice these green onions and press them in a paper towel to get the extra water out. And then I gave that a good mix. So with my box grater, I grated two frozen sticks of butter into the flour. The hands work so much better to mix this together than a spatula. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take some ice water, about a fourth a cup to begin with, and two tablespoons of ice cold Chinese rice wine. If you don't have rice wine, use sake or vodka. And then again, use your hands, that's so much easier. And just start to mix it all together and start to squeeze. And what you're going for is to make sure everything holds together into a ball. And if it doesn't, then keep adding a tablespoon of ice water together in there and keep mixing until it starts to form a ball. I actually added four extra tablespoons of water. So when the dough holds together when squeezed, you gently knead, knead it into a ball. And then on a piece of plastic, wrap, put it into a ball and just kind of shape it and keep squeezing. You don't really need it like bread dough. You just want to keep squeezing, squeezing everything together. Wonderful. Cut it in two. That'll form the top and bottom of the pie. You don't have to have a bottom crust. But I wanted to because the crust is delicious. You want to press each ball into a flat disc in plastic wrap and chill for at least an hour or one day in advance. You could even freeze it. Take about two pounds of boneless pork ribs. I use country ribs. Boil for five minutes and drain and rinse to get out the impurities. Cut into one inch chunks. In a wok or a heavy bottom pot, add a fourth cup of water and sugar, stir to dissolve. Then let it sit and bubble to caramelize. This takes about four to five minutes. And if you turn your back, that's when it'll start to caramelize. <laughs> Add pork, and you wanna brown that. And it takes about three minutes to brown it. <laughs> Add your garlic cloves, green onions, star anise. I chose five. You can do three or four if you want. If you don't like the strong anise flavor. Your soy sauce and then some more rice wine or sake. Add enough water to cover the pork. Bring it to a simmer and then turn it to low. Cover 
and then simmer for 60 to 90 minutes. I simmered it. It took me 90 minutes to get the texture that I was looking for. You can also, once you get the texture that you're looking for, you can turn off the heat and store it in the refrigerator and continue the next day or freeze it. Once you get it to the consistency that you want to, turn off the heat and then add cornstarch. And it starts to thicken. Start to break up the chunks a bit. And then you're gonna set that aside to cool. It'll continue to thicken. And then go back to the crust. Take the dough out from the refrigerator and you're gonna roll out the bottom of the pie if, if you're doing bottoms. I have uh, Williams-Sonoma cereal bowls that I can put in the oven so I can skip the bottom crust, but I like the crust. <laughs> so I'm doing two crusts. You want to roll that out to about an eighth of an inch thick. And then any way that you choose to measure out your crust, do it that way. This is just how I'm doing it. You want to make sure you have an overhang though. So you want to cut out more than the pie tin. So here I cut out three circles, and then I took the extra dough, rolled it into a ball, and then rolled it out to make uh, the fourth bottom crust. Then I pressed each into their individual tins. Then I put all four in the refrigerator while I started to work on the top crust. Just repeat the same process that you did before. Roll it out to one eighth of an inch thick. And this, this was just my method of how I measured out the tops or the lids. <laughs> so you just want to trim it up so you're going to don't have too much extra on each pie. And with the leftover, you can use it to decorate. So you can see that the pork has cooled off and thickened. So you want to put three fourths to one cup in each pie. I did have some leftover and I froze that. I'll probably put that in steam buns another day. Or I can just put it on rice. And then it's time to put the lid on each one. So you just go around and around and around and seal the edges first. And then you want to fold the edges together, kind of fold the bottom over the top and squeeze and pinch some more on a second round here. And after you fold over the bottom to the and the top together, then you want to make a decorative edging. And that's the easiest way right here with my index finger to do it that way. Just make little pinch pleats, fluting. And then take a fork and punch a few whole air vents in there. And there you go.
Just repeat that three more times. At this point, you've preheated your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a pretty thick crust. I didn't think that uh, a forked decoration on the edge would look right, so I just stayed with the um, fluted edge. And I made little hearts with the extra dough that I had. And here comes the egg wash for a golden shine. I'm gonna bake these for, I baked mine for 45 minutes. And that's what they look like. Beautiful. Next time I make these, I'm putting aluminum foil on the pan because I had to scrub all that off. <laughs> you definitely want to use a pan underneath. And it's just gorgeous. And the bottom is beautiful as well. Shanghai bok choy Asian smash cucumber salad. Go well. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help. And this is James T. We call him JT. We got him on New Year's Day. <laughs> See you next time, everyone. <laughs>